we then we started off the restoration project um, four, four or five years ago, and uh, we were contacted just at the beginning of this year um, by, by Jim and Joe, Joe Leslie to, to inform us that he'd been researching um, Neil Gibson's story, and um, had found his plot, his unmarked plot on Fortsley and Larkhall Cemetery, and asked if we'd be interested in getting involved in the project and help him with the funding and the background to it, and of course we were only too delighted um, to lend our assistance. I went to the council actually and they helped me find it. I mean I was looking for it, I couldn't find the headstone, we wasted, I think it must have been two or three days looking for it. Uh, and then I went to the council and one of the officers came down and pointed out the layer but it never had a headstone on it so i had been kind of wasting my time. Um, and then when I found out that, um, that it never had a headstone I, I thought that that had to be, had to be rectified. Neely Gibson is, is one of the greatest players undoubtedly ever to play for Rangers. Um, he's a member of the, the 1898-1990 Invincibles team, which is famous in itself, but he plays with Rangers for, for a decade and um, achieves, I mean, he's part of the team which wins four Scottish League Championships, three Scottish Cups, you know, a very, very illustrious career um, with Rangers. A Scotland great as well, he makes four, he's 14 caps in Scotland, so really, um, yeah, someone who's, who's been forgotten, I think, and their achievements have been forgotten, so hopefully this does something to kind of restore part of that reputation, part of that legacy. I really, the first thing I had to do was find Neely's family. That took me that took me six or seven months to find some, some relatives of, of Neely because you can't move, do anything in the grave until, until you find permission, you get permission from the family. So after that, once I'd done that, I contacted uh, the Restoration of Rangers Graves Project and they generously agreed to put up half the money. Uh, a substantial amount to fund that, but I, th I always thought it would be good to have uh, a contribution from, from Rangers fans in Lark Hall, and I'm the treasurer of Lark Hall District Rangers Supporters Club, so I approached the committee and they put the members who unanimously agreed that it would be a great thing to fund. So I think it's really, really appropriate that, that it's been partially funded by Rangers fans in Lark Hall. I think that's really good. The funding comes from the worldwide range of support and the donations we've received over the years have been, have been extremely generous and that, that has helped um, the project move forward. Um, with now, Neely Gibson's um, plot is, is, is a 36th plot that we've finished work on over the last five years and it's purely down to the help that we've received from the worldwide range of support. The Rangers family pulled together um, every time we've asked and it's, um, it's fantastic you know, to, 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 um, to give these guys the, the bit, bit, bit of dignity and respect that they, they so actually uh, deserve and earned.